My beloveds, we are here, on this very cusp of Christ consciousness. We are here right at the point where the love I am as you meets the love I am as all that he is. And oh, what a glorious moment, for right here suddenly the all is opened up to you. In this moment the bonds of earth are loosed, the spell of the world is broken. In this moment you become aware that all that I am is you as well. And suddenly your reality is infinite. For everywhere you look, you now see me. If you look within yourself, you see me. If you look outside yourself, you see me. In every direction and every dimension, the star of life is visible rays, washing you in your vastness. Rays bathing your humanity everywhere it is the same, and every single part of it is yours. So the very heavens, all the light and all the suns, all the love and all the worlds, all the glorious patterns of life now spread out before you. And in a moment you are there, for the portal of your being now is endless. You now see with the eyes of spirit, which is that union of the heart and consciousness. Oh, you can feel this dawning in yourself, the claiming of those things you know. But in a moment you can travel anywhere in all that is, to touch with loving heart, to bless and commune with higher mind, and to honor each and every being in all the life I am. You know that now, when you look at what you still perceive as outside yourself, that soon it too will make that shift that is the hallmark of the Christ consciousness. That all you have believed was without is actually within. That the truth of love I am is a web of life so strong, so full, so perfect in its holographic nature, that everything is making love with everything else. Not in the soulmate sense of creating love as substance, but as the truth of what I am. Love ever pouring out to love, love I am giving love within me to all of my creation. And all you have previously believed was your world within. Your inner life also comes into this beautiful connection. This same discovery that all you are is everything I am. That if you look within your heart, your love is a universe as well, all loving, living, giving love to the all of this great creation. The universe is there as well, accessible within. And if you look right here before your eyes, well, of course, it is the same. Everything you see is us. The love I am waiting to be acknowledged, discovered and blessed by the consciousness of heart and mind, higher mind that is the all of us. So first, you can see that love is everything. Each way you look, once in the truth, is love. Love is grand and cosmic things. Love is quarks and energy strings. Love in all dimensions. Thus, if all is love, then certainly there could not be a place called Earth where love was absent. It could not make sense. When you connect with the truth of us, you will know your heart as this very star in which we are joined in radiance, ever pouring forth the love I am and acknowledging it through you in form. For truly, I am the fiery truth of love, its ever-burning energy pouring forth forever. You, dear ones, are that point of Christ where what I am as all meets the love I have created. How can I tell you this except to show it to you from within? For the truth is that you, my heart, are where I meet my children. You are how I touch and love all that has come forth from me. You are the place where I can see my manifested love. How does this feel to you? For I know this is the question, what does this mean within your life? How it feels exactly what you've begun to feel, that I am completely part of you, that I am loving through you, and quickly you will recognize the passion with which I do this. Oh, beloved ones, think on this. Hold it deep within your heart. If you are the way that I can physically love all that I have created, how much passion would I have for loving each one through you? Can you even begin to imagine how much joy, how much urgency, 
How much tenderness? Oh, can you grasp what I am saying? You are the way that I love them, everything I have created, all that has come forth into form. Can you even begin to sense the magnitude of this? Beloved ones, you are my heart, the very heart of all that is, the I am, the one creator. You do not only love for me, my human children, oh, you begin to get the picture. You are how I love every single thing that is manifest, created. And dear ones, I am only spirit. I am greater love than anything you can comprehend, even in a little way. I am the vast and glorious consciousness through which has come forth, as living beings, everything there is. Born of the very soulmate womb of love and the will, the thought, the desire to bring it forth so I could love it. Oh, and love it, and oh, how I do. And as the vast and glorious light, I fill and bless and calibrate everything that has come forth in an ecstasy of love. But I can never touch them. I cannot demonstrate the truth of how I love them in the form in which they live and move and have their being. No, this I do through you. You are my heart created. Can you fathom this? You are the instrument through which my love is manifest. You are the way I touch them all, where the all I am can wrap and bless the all I have become, the forms of love inside me. And to think of how you believed yourself to be little and afraid to love, how can this even be possible, an outrage, as I said before, that you pretend that you exist without love? It is simply astounding. Thus has creation watched you in an outrage, not of anger, but of total dumbfoundedness. It was truly unimaginable, and here yet you have gone and done it. Luckily for all the pieces of you that you pretend to be are not the all of you, for if they were, then truly the universe within me would actually be in danger. But the truth of you is waiting for the rest of you to wake, to remember who and what you are, and for you to take your place in love and this anti-love you have imagined can quickly fade from view. Yet here you are, engrossed in the spell of this pocket of reverse creation that you've made, waking from the dream of it, here you are, truly, as you said, incubating Christ consciousness. What can you expect? How will this feel to you when, like a glorious phoenix made of a million suns, you spread your wings of love's great hope and come back to do your part for love? You already have begun. For you now come to realize that all I am, I am in you, as well as ever out there. And thus begins a dialogue as the all I am comes forth in you, that I may love created life. Oh, you now feel me alive within. You recognize me easily as the glory of living love I am that comes to you as light. As long as you perceived me as outside of yourself, something you pray to, something you look up to, then I could not love created life as you, through you. For I could not come into you and be fully, completely present, so that right here, where you are manifest, I can touch life. You begin to understand. Thus shall we now love all life together. For the moment that you made the shift became a Christ consciousness. In that moment I had access to all that I love through you. Oh, can you feel this gratitude? that right here in you I am delivered into this world and others, and can you begin to sense the truth of all you are, of what it means to be as one with me, that you are me as spirit, as the living, moving light of love, and you are also love made manifest, and thus you shall do that which Jesus came to demonstrate for you. Knowing yourself as that very place where I come forth to love, you will feel the power and the passion of the love I am in you. And you will understand how you serve this love I am by bringing it into manifestation to created life. I am giving you as many ways to grasp this as I can. 
Inside you, in this place, Christ, where we are joined, you are aware of created life stretching forth before you, no matter which direction you look. Within you, in the vastness of your being, you and I are joined. You know me as I am, the great spirit, if you will, and you are ever aware of our unified joy of giving me to created life. So within you is my consciousness perfectly melded with my love, pushing to be born through you into manifested life, to hold my children, to love my children, to bless my children, everyone, both human and otherwise, through you. To touch, to wrap, protect, to lift, to honor them and show them that they can feel me in themselves because they feel me delivered to them through our union of love on manifest. All that is and love made manifest in all of you. So if you are standing before someone, a life form, any life, you will feel me reach through you to touch, to heal, to bless, to love. The all I am delivered through my living heart, which is you, beloved ones. Now to show our partnership, how you give your will to me and yet have your will within mine, that I can be expanded by the love you are. A person comes before you, you are ever aware of my presence in you and consciousness, loving union. Oh, my child, my child, you hear me say. You feel the power of my love for them. You see in me as consciousness their glory and perfection. You see the Christ in them, the same I am in you. Yet once you see my truth of them, you deliver it. So while you give your will to me, once I shew you their perfection, you shall make my love manifest to them. You turn it into movement and words, and you place it in their mind and heart. You deliver forth the energy I am as spirit into physicality and whatever level of manifested life they currently express. And when I am delivering my love, you feel me coming through. You are lifted, you are passion-filled, you are overwhelmed with tenderness. Yet just as in these messages, you are placing words upon it and you are wrapping it. You are deciding on how this living love should be packaged in the world of form. Thus do you, knowing my will, mold the love you give to them, just as I have told you, and molding it while in my will, while holding me in heart and mind, you make my will manifest. You then will create a greater truth, and this, of course, is why you must not co-create until you know I am the only truth. For, of course, you know that if you create within the untrue world, none can fully feel my love. And you are never really giving, so you never receive the spiritual gifts of love that you are your heritage. It is in giving that you receive, and always more than you have given. But only now, as you reach our union, do you get to fulfill your role, and thus to fully receive the gifts of the All I Am as you. Amen.